What's up YouTube and welcome back into the fifth episode of our Ball Collective campaign here. We are playing on Star Trek New Horizons. So in the last episode, we managed to get a status quo. Well, we didn't really manage it. It just happened. We didn't really want it, but we did manage to get their capital planet here, which is always a good thing. We're going to talk more about the planets in just a moment. In today's episode, we are probably going to be sorting a few things out in terms of our planets and uni complexes and maybe looking at going to war against the Kabali. We're going to be carrying on with the awesome espionage as much as possible. We want to be stealing pops, especially with the ones that we want to be going to war with. Maybe we could just keep doing it to provoke them and they go to war with us. Who knows? But either way, we're going to be taking their pops. So we do have a few new comments. A few of you want to have a leader role, which is absolutely fine. I welcome all of you. We will find room for you all. Perfection is obviously a key thing that we're looking for here. And with your help, we will find it, especially with you guys adding your own leaders in. So Rufus, you will be a general, along with the Assimilation Sisters, Zelaria and Brianna of Borg. They will also be our generals. So I think we're OK for a while. We're going to be having about four of you as generals. For now, we're going to be needing a lot more in the future. Now, one of none. I do like that name. It's quite catchy. You are going to be a scientist for now. OK, and we are building you a ship as we speak. So you're going to be a scientist. We've also managed to get Qantas of Borg and you, my friend, are going to be a governor on our planet, our main planet here. I think the Trabe one, I think. I'm not sure, but it is a well-established capital after all. And there is another one. You can't see it right now because I've actually put a governor in. Let me just push play a moment. One second. Let the day just skip. There we go. All right. So you are in charge of this planet here. Hang on. I do need to pause that. And we want to keep it because of the dilithium mines. It's pretty decent. We're going to want as much dilithium as possible. So you're in as a governor that will expand the uh, control you will have over a certain amount of planets will expand in time and uni complexes and things like that. Um, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen the comments yet for episode four. So I'm not sure if you want to keep this one, but maybe we do. Maybe we don't. I don't know, but I definitely want to keep this one. I'm going to go ahead and do that because of the dilithium. I just think it's worth it. Uh, what else? OK, the generic 99th cannon fodder squad. We've gone ahead and put that name in here as one of our armies. One of you came out with that. If you have any other names for more armies, we're going to be needing lots of them. Please put them in the comment section on the um, on this video, on any video, really. But um, I will use them. You know, I'm not getting many of you putting in some names for the names of the armies. So I use what we get. And here it is. This one, I quite like it, is the generic 99th Cannon Fodder Squad. I hope you like that one, guys. Uh, a little bit of help also with the management of our establishments here. Secondary maturation chambers, always a good thing. It's going to help with uh, drone development. And what else? Let me look at my notes. Fabricator buildings. We're going to look at those as well because they will help out with certain luxuries that we might not have. So let's just look at maybe this one and let's pop on here. So we're looking for a secondary maturation chamber. Is that right? Let's have a look. Uh, maintenance depot. There's the fabricator here. Is this the one that you mean? OK, so it uses obviously like energy and stuff like that. Uh, the multi-purpose factory can rapidly configure to build a wider variety of industrial equipment. OK, so if that's the one, that's pretty cool. But I'm looking for the maturation chamber. Do we get those straight off the bat? We have. Oh, no, here's a fabrication complex. That's what we wanted, right? Upkeep, yeah, energy and minerals. And this allows the player to create a range of possible goods. Yes, the fabricated good on the, this planet can be controlled and adjusted via, uh, via the decisions. So it's kind of like a trading complex, correct? I guess. But yeah, that's pretty decent. Planet limit one. We will look at that. But right now I can't afford the 14 energy of the upkeep, but definitely going to be doing that. Here's a drone repurposing center. This will be the one, right? Drones can be repurposed within these nodes to receive implants and equipment suitable for their use on vessels. No, I think that could be for more drones there. A data node, asteroid, and an alloy foundry. I don't see, unless I already have it, 
data node, hive node. Secondary, oh, we do. Okay, the secondary maturation chamber, we already have it on that one. So let's just check here. Secondary maturation chamber, yeah, we have those. So the ones that we want to keep, I guess. Do we have one on here? Central, do we get a secondary one for this one? Let me look. Let me just check. I'm starting to learn a little bit about the buildings, which is pretty decent. Secondary maturation chamber. We're going to want that on here. So let's go ahead and put that down. Um, so yeah, so if we're going to be keeping this one here, I guess, do we really want that mining network there? I mean, minerals from jobs, I guess, I mean, plus five on that one. That's fine. I guess we're going to have it as like our, um, as a mineral mining hub here, but we do want to get in the important ones, the secondary maturation chamber, definitely on this one. And we also want the dilithium, don't we? Mine. And we go ahead and leave it as that for now until you guys advise me further. Now this one here, this has got a lot of devastation. There's no housing going on. There's just things that need to be demolished. I don't know. I don't know if we're really keeping this one. I don't really want it if I'm honest. I know you guys say, you know, keep the well-established planets, but there's going to be so many other ones out there. I just want to keep the ones that really kind of mean something, you know, that have the decent rare planetary features. See, I don't know if we can utilize the strategic location here. Because usually we can, but I, I, I'm not sure also if we just haven't... Um, if we haven't discovered it yet, you know, via technology. So I might just bang down a secondary maturation chamber there, just in case we do keep it. Like I said, I, I'm recording a little bit ahead here. While I get time, I just record for you guys, or else we just won't get many videos at all. So it's better this way, trust me. So I know you might be pulling your hair out because in other videos you might be like, no, you need to get rid of this planet or keep it, whatever. But I will obviously get around to seeing those comments eventually, and then we will just get rid of it. Um, as for the rest... Mining, a local garrison, yeah, I can stay down for a moment, I guess. Alloys, yeah, that's always a welcome in sight. So we're going to keep it like that for now. If we want to get rid of it, we will, because we're going to get so many in the long run, guys. We want to pick and choose the planets we have for definite. Um, What's this? Can we upgrade you? We can. Where are you? You're up there. Do we want this one? I can't remember what we were going to be doing with it. We got seven out of seven for the minute. Oh, that's right. We were going to have it. We're just going to keep hold of it. We don't really want it, do we? Uh, but for now, until we go over on our starbase capacity, we will keep hold of that starbase. Why not? I mean, it does cost us a bit of maintenance, but that's fine. Oh, we have completed the assimilation of some more trades. So that's good. Um, yep. Return to primary operations. That's successful. Look, as we've managed to do that via our es espionage. And I just think that's really, really good. So, a pyramid. All right. So, where's Philip? Here he is. A pyramid is going to cost an absolute bomb. Have you guys seen how much it costs? Let me show you right now. Uh, this is just a quick way to have a look. 2,100 alloys. Look at the difference. So, that is going to be a powerful ship, right? <laughs> Very. Have we even looked at the ship designer for the pyramid yet? First of all, it looks amazing. Look at that. Let's have a little look. I love it. All right. Can't zoom in any more than that, but we might have a look at it when we build one. And no, we haven't. So let's have a look. What can we do here? Space superiority pyramid. Or we can have a torpedo one. What do we like to use more here? I mean, I do like the idea of the heavier weapons here, actually. So I might stick with this one for now. Let me know. We could do both. We could do both. Pyramid interior. Right. Okay. So... The light sustained cutting beam, that's all we can have for the orange, the red, and pretty much most of it right now. And that one. So, that, I mean, we, we're just looking what we can change here. Now, the light plasma torpedo threes. Let's have a look at those. What can they do? We can mix it up a little bit here. What have we got here? We have, it already has done a really good job, actually, of mixing it up. That there is pretty good. I mean, we have some light plasma torpedoes here, and we have one of these ones there. The magnet, the magnet metric charge wow that's a mouthful and what that does is it just smashes through the shields the armor the hull the lot this one is just purely hull damage which is fine we do need a little bit of shield damage though if we can get it guys that's armor shield penetration again so over here we have the adaptive 
armor plating. I like that. The adaptive armor plating. That sounds better than just normal armor plating. I might go ahead and put that onto our other things, you know, like the science ves vessels and things like that. If we've um, if we've managed to uh, get this now researched. So that's good. So let's have a look here. I'm going to keep them two there, by the way. The tactical station, always for me, pretty much. I mean, oh, you know, no, saying that ship's weapons damage there is pretty decent, you know. So let's go with that. A bit of extra damage. The tactical here does range as well. I don't mind that whatsoever. Let's have a look. What can we do here then? The afterburners make them a little bit quicker, maybe. Evasion. Uh, we're just big old units. I don't think we're going to be looking at much evasion in this one. The interlink node. That sounds very borgy. I think that's what we're going to want. A bit of tracking to be able to hit them. And maybe an afterburner to get there a little bit quicker. Why not? Yeah, that sounds good. Pyramid, everything is on point here. Yes. Ah, oh, what's this? What have we got? Multi-adaptive plexus. That's this one here. But right now we could use... What does this do? Daily hull. What does this one do? Enhanced adaption reduces the armor piercing ability of all enemies. Weapons in range. Um... Yeah, I want that. The multi-adaptive plexus does look good to me. All right, so that's the pyramid. We just made it, like, even more expensive now. Not much, actually, so that's okay. Only some special resources probably have come up on that. So that's fine. So I wanted to do that before we ended up building them because it's a bit of a beast. But let's go back to the cone here. And the armor plating, can we save? The design already exists. Can we change that to that? What is this here? The adaptive integrity field, ship hold points. I want the armor plating all the way. Uh, tactical station. Let's go with the EPS manifold on that one. So we are changing it up a little bit here, guys. Command station. What does this one do? Daily. Yeah, I don't mind that they're kind of regening themselves. That's cool. Um, and then here we have... I wouldn't mind a few torpedoes involved here as well. So I'm going to go with the two torpedoes. What does this give us here? Average damage. I, I kind of look at that 11 there. Compared to the 7. So we go with the 1. Um, and then we've only got the cutting beam there. I think we've made that a lot better than what it was actually. So we'll save that one. Always look at it. Now we are building probes I think right now. So I don't think we can change anything. Um, but I would have liked to have changed that to that. Oh we can. That's cool. EPS manifold. That's fine interlink node and the additional bulkheads let's go with man station maybe no we go with the alcove bay there we go all right so we've yeah we've we've made them better we've made our ships better already and we're going to need it because as you've pointed out the erosion are pretty strong so yeah we're definitely going to need it right let's have a look what are we going to do now Sorry that we haven't pushed play yet, guys, but I hope you don't mind. Because I want I could just skip all this, like a lot of YouTubers do, and they just you know, they just edit the crap out of their videos basically, and and, and that is a literal term, by the way. They literally edit the crap out of their videos. But I don't know, I think sometimes it's not really rubbish. I think it's quite important to show you guys, especially, you know, what's the point of just do you know, um, making a video just for the audience that already know everything about this game i think that it's, it's good to show the the newbies as well and i really want them to do well in this game so showing you everything i think helps if not then i suppose you could just skip uh but let's push play and look at some more espionage while we're here let's have a look what were we doing espionage heavy harvest colony that's what we are doing right now and we are doing a very good job of it i think no, because we're looking at the Kabali, unless they are allies. I don't know. We might be still assimilating on the planets. Because if you remember, we did actually um, attack the planet. And now I guess we're in a bit of a war with it right now. So we could be just assimilating these pots as we go. I think we are. Yeah, as you can see, there's still pots on there. So we want to convert them completely to ours. Um, right, so the Nanite Foundry 3. Or we could go with frequency tuning. What does this do? Uh, okay, it's, it's possible to construct weapons draining energy from enemy ships. Yeah, we'll go with that. Sounds interesting. Chemosite. I don't mind chemosite. We could actually make these charges a bit better. 
I might do that because then we don't have to switch the weapon out. And wow, that was quick. We we'll go with this one then. System surveyed. Okay, did we get that other science ship? We did. We wanted to pop in the new one of none. Let me pause what's going on. And let's send you on a bit of a mission here. I might send you right out there just to see what's going on. Can we just push a button maybe and go for it? Um, but before we do that, let me just check on something, guys. Ship designer, let's go to our science ships. And can we make them any better? Armor plating, we can. Let's go with adaptive. Additional bulkheads. Uh, and we want them to be able to regenerate themselves while they're out there. This is all good. Let's save that. It helps. Um, unless we've got something better here. Survey speed. I think that's a really good one, actually. So we've managed to really um, improve on that one. So while you're here, just upgrade. And then we're going to send you out on a bit of a mission because we wanted the shields to be a bit better. So one of none, you are going to be heading off down this direction. We want to be meeting as many different civilizations as possible so we can use our espionage on them. I think that's pretty good. We have a signal that's detected. Um, it's a 73% probability of technologically advanced species. Okay, interesting. Let's contact. There's not a lot we can do about it, though. Busy building a spy network in the Trabe. Do we want to do that? I, The Trabe are done, I think. Let's accept that one into there to do some first contacts. A erosion. Oh, that was scary. It's declared war on the Kabali. Uh, we want to do that as well. Pretty soon, actually. I might get in there while the Herosian are doing it. Uh, an event, a perimeter designation. Displaying the available target types. Assimilate, one pop. Ah, right, okay. This may provoke them, but this I think this is for the Kabali. Am I correct in thinking that the Durand, let me just see. Um, yeah, over here. So yeah, we're going to go for three pops. We're going to take three pops away from them. This is how cool the espionage system is, man. It's really, really good. System survey. So I think that's science ship. No, that's you. 13 of 33. Do you want to come back and upgrade while you're pretty close? Uh, you have been built and now you have one of none. Let's get you on a bit of a mission. I need you to come down here first. I don't really want you going. Well, you could do. We're not at war right now, but we could end up at war quite soon. So I'm going to shift click from there and then head down kind of really far, actually, down to like here. And see how we get on. How about that? Right, construction ships. We want to be looking at grabbing some pretty decent systems out there. Ones that are going to benefit and help us. There we go. Boom. Dilithium. Yes, please. Go and grab you. I want all the Dilithium we can get. The more ships, the more Dilithium it's going to cost. It's just as simple as that. Go for the Dilithium, guys. And definitely go for the Deuterium now. As we can sell this stuff, we are going to be making a lot. So... Do it. Oh, we're getting Latinum now. Not sure why. Um, But this one as well. Do you remember we were on a bit of a mission here? To get over to... Well, from there across maybe to... Oh, yes. We definitely want the Omega. And we want that one. That's pretty good. We just want these ones here, I think. Maybe the Magnesite, as we are using a lot of it with our ships right now. What is this? The Kazon... What are you doing? Right, so our vessels come back and upgrade. We have new upgrades for you, don't we? Remember, we just looked at that. Uh, loving it. So let's move on a little bit. Like I said, what if... Oh, wow. Okay, they are super strong. Um, we do need pops. That's the thing. Where is it? Is there a planet anywhere near us? Not really. The, the only planets are over here. So I don't know. I don't know if we do it right this second. Right. Ah, uh, data assimilation. Through the process of assimilation, the collective accumulates vast quantities of data. Let's always just act. I think you can just do the lot. I'm not sure. Um, tier two. Uh, yeah. Cool. Tier two. Uh, and that one. Tier two. There we go. All right, advanced technology detected. Initiate assimilation protocol. Go for it. Okay, so species 1001 was unable to withstand us and all on board were secured. The ship will serve the collective. Now, I think that 
Even the first contact is amazing, guys, with the Borg. Everything just seems to be spot on right now. The Assimilate Distinctiveness here has managed to gain us a little bit of influence and some research here. We will find future first contact processes easier to complete. So, I mean, look at that. They just It just benefits us doing everything. They haven't left anything out so far. I really, really enjoy it. So we've managed to complete that, which is good because we got it via assimilating different species that already know about it. So it makes sense. It makes absolute sense. Let's just finish this off because, by the way, it looks like it's already done. I know we can't because we got given one, so you can't just... Yeah, yeah, that's the way it is. It comes up like you've researched it, but... Um, kind of needs to be changed a little bit because you can't actually do it yet because you've still got some going on because it was a freebie uh, but it doesn't always tell you that uh, what have we got here so diplomacy is irrelevant we have met the prey law all right and that's already been dealt with let me just right click it the collective has assimilated individuals from the prey law which is another step to perfection which has given us a load of unity and all the good stuff as well first time assimilations are amazing so, okay, we did pick this trade, didn't we? Because we wanted the fleet command limit. Ship starting experience quite be, could be quite good, but operation speed, we were looking at... We did these two. Yes, we have. Army assimilation, maximum infiltration level. I mean, the operation speed is quite good. We will just gain pops quicker. And maybe very early on in the game, that's going to help us. We want as many pops as possible because harvesting via espionage is a very advantage advantageous way to gain us these pops so i think speeding up could be pretty good other than that it will be the ship starting experience i think and ooh, right now pops is priority so let's go with it although you know the navy is as well because obviously we're going to end up needing it for the erosion uh, we are getting a pretty decent upgrade but we would never be able to withstand the erosion right now um maybe upgrading some of these might be useful right now seven out of seven is there another one that i prefer to have probably not we've got this one we've got this one we've got that one that's where our planets are where's the other planet that we were looking at guys it's up here right is that that's our planet there it could be worth having it there instead having the star base this is the one i want to keep right let me have a look yes i do want to keep this one so i'm going to downgrade you and we're going to upgrade you. That's going to be our seventh one there. Right. So where is the other ones? Oh, we have an upgrade here for the Unicomplex. Data node upgrade will cost us more energy, but get a lot more research. I'll go with that. Nanite foundries. No, don't want those right now. Drone repurposing center will get us more troops. Or what? Three more. Eh. Maintenance. That just goes on the amenities here. Anything else? Can we do maturation chambers or something? We could do this, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I like the research a lot, I guess, right now. Uh, everything seems to be settling down on some of these planets. This is good. We do have a lot of available jobs. We just need to fill them up here. When we get some extra pops, we're going to send them here, guys, to work like the dilithium mine and things like that. And you seem to be calming down ever so slightly, which is fine. We got the upgrade going there. It's the star bases. Uh, star bases I want to upgrade. Now this is obviously a naval depot. Um, I do want to keep it. I guess we're going to need it because we're looking at expanding our fleet. So I will level up some of these ones here. I know they're not in the best place, but for now, let's just level them up. You know, it'll be fine. Right. Um, no alloys. We're going to need alloys big time. Construction ship. Okay. Well, this construction ship here, we want it to go over to this one, don't we? Oh, it's still doing something. Another ship is performing or has finished forming this order. Are you already going there? No, you're not. Was something else going there? Where are you? Okay, you are. Um. Yeah, you're going to take forever about it. And I don't want the Krenim grabbing it, so why don't you come over and grab this one? Yeah, let's go around there. So just move there and you pop over here and grab us this one. Because, I mean, it's pretty decent. It's got Magnesite and um, Topoline there. So I'll have that. Contact has been established with the Prey Law, the species, as we saw a minute ago. 
Um, it's been captured in Uni Matrix 285, species 1001, leader designated, automated unit 3843, processes useful knowledge and experience, assimilate. So we, we could have basically another Lakutus. Um, so why not? So let's do it because we do want more. Um, Automated personnel units are currently functioning at 70% of peak operating capabilities. Lakutus of Borg, the Prelor. I think we might put you in there as a spy network then. And we'll have Automated a look to see. I mean, you are, are in theory already. We do possess quite a bit of intelligence. Um, can we continue espionaging here? We already are harvesting. We're going for it, which is really, really cool. Um, where else are we looking right now? We're busy in the Krenim. Hmm, the Krenim, yes. We will make the time to speak with you. All right, can we get some data, please? We don't have any assets here, but that's fine. We don't have a Locutus of Krenum yet. All right, let's continue. Just double check things as we go. Our fleet has been upgraded. Yeah, they're looking quite strong right now with the extra add-ons that we did. That's probably where all of our alloys have gone, to be fair. But we do want to save up for one of those beefy pyramids. Oh, that would be good. We can do some more upgrading right now. That would be handy. Oh, we could go straight for the third one, you know. If that's the route we're going down right now. But let's have a look. What do these do? I want a bit of shield damage. Because they all have shields. We don't... I think gives us shield damage. This is by far one of the best ones. Average damage there. 130 compared to... I know these are lower techs, but... Yeah. I'm going to go with the third one. Yeah, might as well do that. I'll upgrade them anyway, just in case war breaks out. Let's just get it done. Uh, the Nanite Foundry. Okay, we're not getting much of the, in terms of society here. We really really aren't, are we? Oh, uh, what do what this do for us? I suppose it will go on to the next one, and it's pretty much already done anyway, so let's just get that out of the way. Espionage. Okay, objective. We have an answer of nodes, unit complex one, successfully... Plated previously and processed data. Uh, ball collective gains. 15 intel on the Krenim. Oh yeah. That's what we were doing. We were looking at the Krenim, weren't we? Time so is on our let's side. have a look at the espionage. We want to harvest them when we get 70. I'll go with that. That's fine. But I think we've got enough data for now. Let's just gain we 70. The time to speak with and then we'll take their pops. Yep, that's what we just did. And we can only go for that. Vent. We have detected... Um, what could be a very decent bit of assimilation. So, and a first contact. So we're going to put three of nine in there to do that. Construction complete. Ooh, good. Mm, do I keep going and I'll come back for it? Yes, maybe. Maybe the one that's on the way could grab the bits and bobs, actually. Yeah, you just come on up that way. That's fine. Construction ship down here. Lovely. Let's shift click and grab all the goodies there, guys. Anything else? I mean, do we want water? Do we need it? Let me have a look. We have none. So, I mean, I guess we could go for ones like this, just in case. Uh, do we require it for much? I'm not sure. Let me know if we require it. That's going to be done soon. Because we do have a lot of it around. There's some deuterium here as well. Whenever I see deuterium, I get excited. Because I want to sell it. But let's have a look. How are we doing with that? 4.7. Eh, we're doing okay here. Not too bad. Telonium crystals do sell for a bit, I guess. Um, let's have a look. What can we do? We can sell quite a lot of stuff here. Can we get... No, we can't even get that. We need a little bit more. Um, Maybe some nanites. No, it's just as food, isn't it? It's not really great. Maybe you... Right, now I can grab a big amount. I want to try to save up for... Let me pause for the pyramid. The, the Phillips fleet. The vessel has been detected. So activate the probe and... Just set for an intercept course, please. Passive scans inclusive. Initiate scan. I love it. Uh, okay, wow. Anti-proton technology breakthrough here. Opening transport communication protocol. Yep, the main node... Uh, accumulation of data resource and local archive has reached a key potential in the field of the antimatter based space to space weaponry. Right, well, let me have some more information on what they do. So, an anti photon beam here, guys, was initially calculated as imperfect laser weaponry. 
uh, recent species simulation has uncovered that they cause exotic damage that impairs shielding. Well, we have been looking for something for shielding. Or we can go for the tunneling one. And I guess that is armor penetration. Well, I don't really have anything to do with shields right now. So I guess we're going to go with the anti-proton beam. Because the rest of the galaxy love their shields. So we need to be prepared for that. So we have an anti-photon beam. Um, does it say whereabouts? There we go. Shield penetration. Oh, it's just shield penetration again. But then again... It's not shield damage, but it's it can, it's useful. It is useful. Monthly influence. Doing okay for influence, but I never turn it down. Although the reinforced cutting beam actually would be really good here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a reinforced cutting beam. Influence can wait, guys. It can wait. We have new first contacts, right? But we don't have anyone available to do it. Because we are in the Zal right now. Where is the Zal? Maybe I don't need to worry about the Zal too much, do we? Over here, let's have a look. What? How are we doing? Espionage. 42. I guess we could have a little look at you for now. Let's put in an asset. Uh, the first contact's going to have to wait for a moment. It will have to wait. Wow, look. The added weapons is really helping out. I'm really enjoying that. We could put another pyramid in. That would be interesting. Two pyramids here and some more cones. Actually, I want to get to 10 here. Um, I know, not for the sake of another cone. Two cones would be better. Eight cones, eight probes. Sounds good. All right, an event. We have the leader, Alaric of Borg, is leveled up. Well done, Alaric. And a lot of you have leveled up one quantos of borg you've leveled up as well very quickly first contact event lock tractor beam prepare drones for transportation please get in there all right we have construction ships done here guys we need to pause and get this done um we want to now ride to head over here i want to grab you but you're a lot i guess it's this one I don't know, maybe this one, then this one, then come down. But let me just root out here a minute. So if we went there to there, how would we get there? That's there. And then could we go across to there? No. You see, so it's going to... I was hoping to get this one at a low cost, if we got that one, to get this one at a low cost. But it's not going to make any difference because, as you can see, there's no direct route, which means it's going to cost double. So we have to do this route or... We can do this route here. Which would be better because then we can grab that one at the same time. Then this one. Yep. That's good. I kind of like that route. It's a good way. Just grab your construction ship, shift click, and then you'll see the routes. And that will be your pricing, if that makes sense. So uh, you can plan ahead. So we're going to go down this route. So we're going to go for this one. That's what we're going to do. And you just start automatically constructing stuff where you are and things like that. Right, science ship. What are you doing here? Not a lot. Go on out and survey for me. You as well. Janitor 37 on maintenance. You carry on, please. Um, where's our new dude? Phobos, what are you up to? Janitor... One of none. You're kind of heading all the way down here. Yep, you're on your way. So let's continue with that. I've nearly done the star base here. We'll have a look at that in just a sec. And the upgrades. That's really handy. All right, awesome. I really want to go to fast speed, but I feel that there's so much stuff to just get done. That, I, I don't know. I think we're going to miss stuff. But this is super important to us, the Amiga molecule here. Very, very important. Construction complete. That would be our starbase, correct? Yeah, we've got one here, and we really need it to be as strong as possible, to be honest. Um, I mean, it can be strong. As you can see, even these ones are strong. And their anchorage is 10.4k, so it might be worth just becoming an anchorage. This is really annoying, but it's fine. We will... Um, we will deal with that as soon as we can after the 10 years. Let's just upgrade for a minute. Get it nice and strong. 
Down here, we've got crew quarters, dilithium. Can't really do anything else with it, that's fine. Crew quarters and dilithium. You guys are upgrading. That's cool. Um, we will be coming after the trade again. Unless, well, unless we go into this monstrous alliance, maybe. Uh, we can't declare war until 2191. Miles away. But whatever. Uh, let me see. First contact. We do not take kindly to your sword. And as one, we will destroy you. We... we do, you know, it's got to be that one. Evaluate the threat. Stage 3. Why is there no envoy there? Let's go for it. Trade has made claims to our systems here. The master Simulation Drive Edict affecting our empire has expired. Well, we can't have that. So, what was we doing? The mass assimilation. What does this do? The ed this edict reduces passive unity production to enable assimilation. Yeah, we want that back on because it's only nine. We are over, actually, a little bit here. Indeed we are. It will affect our unity a little bit, but not too much. Adaptive fleet construction. What do these do? Military build speed. And in a defensive war, star base reinforcement. Just seeing if we got any new ones. Army damage would be good. Amenities plus 10. Key drone prioritization lead again. Espionage protocol. That would be quite cool right now as well. Uh, but we're going to stick with the mass assimilation. An empire wide modifier that can be activated or deactivated. And it, like I said, it reduces passive unity production to enable assimilation of additional pops per month. So I might as well do that because we're kind of using it, the unity, to gain unity in a way. An event, oh, we'll, we'll do this again. I'm not quite sure what's going on with this. Oh, we don't have any, any required resources here returned. So we can't do it. So that's done. That's okay. And we can upgrade again. So let's keep pushing those upgrades. Why not? Right, what does this mean? Starbase is not connected to the trade network. No, it's not, is it? Because it's kind of in the way here. That's the Ritz one here. Why are you not? How do we do that? We go to defenses, is it? No. Um, Details, maybe. It simply doesn't have the ability, does it? Where do I push that again for the, the trade? I'm not sure. Defense platforms. Details. Do we even can we even do that with these guys? I don't think so. I don't know. But let me know about that. We want to try. Oh no, it sorted itself out. That's fine. Uh, naval depot. Let's put that on there. Right. What is happening here? The approaching target coordinates. Invasive data acquisition procedure will result in direct confrontation. Allocate drones to transport. Begin invasive data acquisition. Ah, there's no longer priority. No, I want to do it. Let's get whatever we can out of everything. Oh, wow, guys. We have the sphere here. What else? There's always goodies here. Starbase capacity plus two would be really handy as well right now. But I think I want to go for the ship. Just so we have it. Interesting. That's another one. Do we have anyone available to do that? Not really. Not right now. We're doing first contact at the moment. So the Krenim, the Zal, and the Prelor. Let's check them out. The Krenim. We will make the time to speak with Espionage. You. Not a lot happening here. The prey law. They're getting a little bit tougher to do, so we're going to have to make sure we keep up on top of that. And of course, Automated the prey law, I think. Units are currently functioning oh, we can harvest you. Operating. Who are you with? Automated personnel units are. If we declared war, you're on your own. So Automated that's person. fine by me. Let's one, start. One, 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 <laughs> one, prayler, prayler, one, uh. one, prayler, 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 prayler. Yes, okay, have you finished, Mr. Prey law? You were malfunctioning. You're not like a Borg drone at all, but you will be very shortly. So there we go. We're going to harvest them. We can't assign an envoy right now. System surveyed. Uh, yeah, so it's not been a war -y one right now because I feel like we're doing so much other cool stuff. Let's upgrade these ones. And I really want to save up, but I can't seem to do it. So let's keep trying here. Let I want to go for a pyramid. I at least want to get a pyramid on the go, guys. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Let's just sell a lot of this stuff. What can we get up to? 55,000. That's fine by me. Uh, do you sell for a lot? Not really. 
My lithium does. I suppose we could spare it. Um, we could pretty much get a pyramid now, I believe. Let's have a look. Who has the pyramid? Yes, you do. Right, well, so we get the pyramid. Let me just do that. I could just build it individually. But complete. there we go. We got a pyramid on the go. So let's just put this back now. Okay, that's fine. Let's just get that pyramid going. Right, we've got lots going on here. First contact. Lock track to being prepared drones for transport. We have an operation that's been failed. We're going to alter course to withdraw. Okay, drones successfully beamed to the target, but it looks like they fought us off, which is a bummer. And that happens. Uh, this is a bit better for tech within the society tree. Ship upgrade cost. Very nice. I like it. What is this? A hive conflux. A singular directive can be programmed into each unit so that it complies but has the flexibility to adapt their own behaviour to best suit the goal of achieving the objective. Sounds interesting. Building upgrade. Starbase modular. We can get some modules here. The industrial uni complex expansion. A decision and um, what does this do planet size of the uni complex this would be a good one like in the future more monthly unity you know we're not in the minuses so it's not too bad and we're gaining a lot through just assimilating so i think we should go for the sh ship upgrade cost here 25 percent minus and it also comes with a component here a nanite projector what does this do it uh projected over large areas of damaged hull in order to Repair damage segments nearby vessels. Vessels repair quickly. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. It's kind of Borg unique. We're going to go with that. System surveyed. Construction ships are all done as well. You're done there. This isn't bad, I guess. It's not a bad one. How are we doing with the Empire size? We have a technology cost of plus seven. Yeah. It's going to go up and up, isn't it? Anything else... And I really, I do want to grab this, but I mean, if anybody else does, I will just go to war with them. That costs a lot. Maybe we could go for this one and then this one. That does cost. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me just double check that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Right. And then the other construction ships up here. We want to grab you. And then we can, can we get there afterwards? No. Okay. So yeah, that, that was right. Yeah have to go there there so just yeah it's already doing that so carry on with those orders that's fine oh nice where is this um see it doesn't tell you who because you could be doing quite a few but i guess we want to go for the five pops there i'm just gonna like jump onto their planet steal their pops and run away that's the way we want to do it Right, these are looking quite good. We now have still only two here. We have 12 over here, but I guess everybody's been assimilated. Uh, would you be... I suppose that's a... I don't know. Is that a Kazon Borg pop? It must be. It must be. Amenities is a bit of a problem on this planet, so we're going to address that for now. But I don't know. I mean... I don't know if I want to keep this planet, because... Like I said, unless we can get that naval depot thing, then I don't think it's that important to us. I might just dis distribute the pops out. But I do want to keep everybody as happy as possible right now. That's the thing. Is it, What does it... Again, I can't remember. Drone repurposing, though. No. No, we want the little spanner. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, maintenance depot. Amenity building, there we go. I will put that one in for just now. Even though we don't have the available jobs, but maybe I'll prior prioritise it myself. I'll customly go in there and have a little look. Uh, star bases are looking quite strong, actually. Is there anything I've missed? Yeah, you. Naval Depot. We just need a massive fleet, don't we? That's cool. Ooh, we'll have more shipyards, please. On all of you. Thank you. And main ones here, actually. Let's have another look at that. Uh, lithium manufactories. Yeah. You know, they're, they're pretty good. Have we got them on all of them? Yes, we do. 
All right. Well, that's pretty epic, guys. I think we're pretty much going to call it there. We have a pyramid on the way. Um, and we're about ready for a war, I think. Let's have a look. So, yeah, wait, let me check this pyramid. There we go. It's being built. It's going to take quite a while there. So, we're, we're pretty much ready here to call this episode, I think. We have another encounter. We don't really have the, uh, the envoys right now. But we will do pretty soon. So, um, yeah, let's just pause it there, I think. Um, and a quick discussion. We've progressed a little bit more. We're heading towards this Amiga molecule here. We really want to grab that and all the decent ones. Let me know in the comment section about the planets, specifically the trade prime here. Maybe we want to get rid of it and distribute those lovely pops out to get the other ones up and running. Pops are growing, though. Slowly but surely, we are getting them. I mean, 40 on our main one. Who do we want to go to war with? I would say the Kabali, but it looks like the Herosian already have sunk their teeth into them. We can pretty much go to war with these guys pretty soon. We can't go to war with anyone else unless we're bordering them. We are bordering the Kazon now. So, well, again, I don't think we can. No, we have to wait for the truce to end, which is pretty soon. Um, if we can get going, we will just, you know, get it on fast and get there. Uh, so it looks like it could be these guys, I guess. We could go for the Kabali straight away and maybe try and nab a planet here. Have a look at this one. Yeah, we can see some rare features here already. Has a max naval supply depot. Do we? Can we use them? I mean, they're only colonized it right now, so we'll wait until that's done. So, I mean, maybe we'll wait until the Herosians' war is over, see what they've captured, and go from there. We've got plenty to do and get on with without a war, I guess. Picking and choosing the systems that we want. Oh, nice. Another Dilithium one over here. We're going to snag that. We're going to come up here, grab this. Grab this, grab that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. A little bit quieter, but always fun. We are learning as every minute goes by within this playthrough. So um, yeah, that's it. Until the next episode, guys. I hope that you all take care. And bye-bye for now. Make it so.